Hey, what's going on, people? This is Elder the Tenchi. Um, so, the newest trailer or preview of the uh, latest um, Sonic the Hedgehog TV show just uh, premiered today, and uh, honestly, it does not look that bad. It does not look that bad, and it's going to be a tie-in to the newest game coming out. The newest game. Uh, by the name of Sonic Boom. Yes, they went with Sonic Boom. It's not just a working title. It's the official title. The video game will be a prequel to the show, which is already slated for fall of 2014. They've already ordered about 50-some episodes. It's going to be premiering on Cartoon Network. They're really pushing this. Um, this is going to be a new... You know, a new addition to the Sonic universe, you know what I mean? So, and it's interesting how the show ties in with the game. You know, it's, it's so it's canon, you know what I'm saying? So, that is something I always found that's kind of interesting. Um, you know, after reading the official blog when the information came out, if you want to read it, check out the link in the description. And, uh, yeah, the internet's already picking it apart. After watching the preview... I saw the comments, people are already picking this apart. Like I knew they, you know, like I knew they would. This is the internet. So, of course, people are going to have their preconceived notions. They're going to say, "Oh my god, this is so bad. Oh my god, what the heck is it? And why why is Sonic's voice so high pitched? All that bull crap before our first episode even comes out. All we got is a all we got is a 2 minute preview, which is not that bad. But I know I'm just one person. I'm just one fan. So, you know, Take my opinion with a grain of salt if you want to, but uh, but honestly, I really the only real real uh, question I have to ask about this is why is Dr. Eggman's mustache so short? We've been used to him for decades having that that huge <laughs> that huge long mustache, and now they kind of cut it down to a handlebar. You know what I'm saying? And uh, <laughs> it's you know, it's just it's just a little it's just a little nitpick. I'm not as I'm not as bad as some people, but uh, anyway, you know, the voices seem to be the same people that have been voicing uh, Sonic for the game. You know, for the games, the graphics are pretty. You know, are pretty uh, cool for uh, you know for standard C you know for standard CGI right now. I mean, we're in the middle of a freaking CGI animation renaissance uh, as far as T as far as TV goes. You know what I'm saying? But the same complaints that people are having about Sonic are similar to uh, complaints about uh, Transformers Prime, which is probably one of my favorite Transformers shows to date, and the newest version of Ninja Turtles, which I also do reviews on my channel every week. So shameless plug. If you want to check those out, check out the you know check out the link to um, my playlist. Subscribe to my channel and tell me, and, let me, and uh, see when they come out. But as far as as far as Sonic Boom goes, you know, but let's just see what happens before we start making our our judgments. This is gonna be like a new, you know, like a new experiment. Sega of America is involved. Um, one thing I'd really like to see. This is just, you know, a fan's wishful thinking. All right, if I had a ch if I had a chance to see um, one character that Sonic has collaborated with, because you know. Because now he's collaborated with everybody from from Mega Man to Super Mario in games. You know what I'm saying? Everybody looking for that Super Smash Brothers and uh, Sonic and Mario at the at the Olympics. Everything from that. But if anybody out there reads Archie Comics, check out the Sonic and Mega Man collaboration. You know what I'm saying? Um, if they were to do an episode where Mega Man showed up out of the blue, you know, yeah. Whatever, pun intended. If they had to do a collaboration between, you know, between Sonic and another character that he, you know, that he's been in games with, definitely do Mega Man. I wouldn't. I would love to see that storyline or something close to it played out on screen. That would just be dope. You know what I'm saying? Um, but anyway, you know, like I said, fans wishful thinking. Let me know what you think of this new development for Sonic. Do you plan on watching the show? Do you uh, have you seen the preview? What do you think? Do you plan on buying the game? Like I said, I know the games right now have been eh, a little subpar compared to what we had in the past. But uh, let's give it a shot before we totally, you know, bury it and forget about it. You know what I'm saying? But um, let me know in the comments below, and I will see you on the next video. Peace, love. And never be normal.